Welcome CrossFit fans, this is what it's all about. This is the 2014 European Regional. The final event, the final heat of women. And it comes down to this for the day. I am Rory McKernan, joined by Mads Jacobson. And event number five is a decider. Event number, event number five has been a bruiser here in the European region. and. Uh, Giving some pain to the women. Katrine Tonja Davis' daughter manages to keep her overall lead after one event today. Annie Thor's daughter opened the door and is now tied for points with Bjork Odin's daughter. And just two points behind them, a two-way tie, Oksana Slavenko and Carolyn Freakland. Event number five. Has Event been number five pain. is ten rounds for time of one rope climb and a sprint. Now the rope climb is legless, which makes it a whole lot harder than when you are allowed to anchor your feet on the way up the rope. There's an 11 minute time cap for these ladies. We'll see who does it the fastest. One lady who has to go fast is eighth place, Sam Briggs. Look for her in lane number two. Sam Briggs, current fittest woman on earth, needs to make up precious points here. A second place in event number four helped her to do that. She called her shot on this one and see if she can back it up. And the ladies of heat number four are showing far less restraint than previous heats. Annie Thor's daughter with a huge leap in lane number five in the blue shirt, black short, black pants. The first up the rope and the first to advance her chest piece. Now we have seen in the past that some athletes have started really, really fast and then kind of hit the wall a little bit later. Annie is such an experienced athlete. I find it very hard to believe that that was going to happen to her. On the left of your screen, Samantha Briggs chasing her down. In order to make up ground today, Sam has to have a top finish. There is no other option. Annie Thor's daughter stops for chalk and Sam takes the lead. Along with them on the top of your screen in the pink top, Caroline Friedland in a tie for third currently on points. Sam Briggs will be the first back for her third round of rope climbs. And this is a very competitive heat. And what we're gonna see here is that some of these ladies are starting to pace themselves. They may have just realized that they were a bit fast out of the gate. And so they're starting to pace themselves just a little bit more. Sam Briggs showing no fear and maintaining the lead. Annie Thor's daughter close behind, and if you're a CrossFit Games fan, this is what you came for. Two past champions battling it out. I'm, I'm pretty excited to see this. Sam Briggs addresses the rope right back up. And Sam's technique is also, she's not utilizing a kip. Now Annie is starting to use a lot, just a little, utilize a little bit of a kip. At one minute and 32 seconds, Sam Briggs extends her lead and moves on to her fifth round on completion of this round, she'll be halfway. You can see Sam Briggs, second from the left. That's her in the uh, sports bra, yellow bottom to her tights. And we are only one minute and 51 seconds into this workout, and Sam Briggs already halfway done with her workout. And the, the athletes, I just got to point it out, on the way down, now it is a legless rope climb, but they are allowed to clasp the, the rope with their feet and their legs on the way down. Just on Matt, the way up. You said it wasn't bragging if you back it up. Sam Briggs now entering her sixth round relaxed looking and chewing gum absolutely and you see annie here is also cruising at a steady pace she's looking good annie two-time champion of the crossfit games this is her return from injury and she is currently in second place entering her sixth round as sam briggs finishes hers sam briggs showing no signs of stopping i mean i'm, I'm impressed with the pace that sam started out with and it looks like she's holding on to that pace no problem whatsoever there's no stopping she, made, she shakes her arms out on the way back to the rope, and that's what you want. The event record, worth talking about, five minutes and 19 seconds set by Lindsey Vaughn in Australia. And Sam Briggs, under three minutes, currently is in her round of seven. Call it the round of eight when she moves with her chest piece. Look at that composure. I mean, if she's out on a mission. She's trying to make a statement, and this is going to be very good for her, both in the rankings but also mentally as the athlete needs to feel comfortable. They need to feel like they're on top of where they're at in the rankings. The fans here in the arena, the Baller Up Super Arena, clapping in cadence with the music and loving the show that's being put on by 
the UK's own Sam Briggs, the reigning fittest woman on earth. And Sam Briggs, you see her, she'll, she'll she come up there and clap the crossbar. Then she'll come down, just climb her feet just a little bit, come to a little, come a little bit further down, and get a, get a little bit of a drop. There's She's something you didn't expect to see. Oksana Slavenko in the yellow, keeping pace with Annie Thor's daughter, one-time fittest woman on earth. Oksana Slavenko got caught on the rope climbs, has been caught, caught on the rope climbs before, and she's come back to really At claim it. At under four minutes, Sam Briggs is getting the crowd into it as she advances her chest piece and goes into her tenth and final round. She is going to annihilate the event record and make another statement on the day, backing up a second place finish from this morning. Sam Briggs is an absolute cyborg. Tenth and final rope line for Sam Briggs. And the crowd here at the Baller Up Arena has erupted. As Sam Briggs says, you can't get rid of me that easily. Unofficially, four minutes and 30 seconds. And as that happens, Caroline Fruglund is the first other competitor to move her chest piece forward as she runs down for her ninth rope climb. Oksana Slavenko has now passed Annie Thor's daughter. So Freakland next in line, followed by Slivenko and Annie Thor's daughter trying to pick up the pace and catch up. Rope climbs favored difficulty last year, but Slavenko passing Annie in the yellow right now. And part seems not have trouble. Carolyn Freakland, an amazing start and finish. And there's Slavenko, a little bit of a rookie error, not advancing her chest piece but a very impressive performance. Danny Thor's daughter tries to wrap up her workout. A good wrap, and she'll sprint to the finish. Still only five minutes and 29 seconds. A tremendous performance here by all of the women in this final heat from Europe. Two champions. And Bjork, give each other some props. Björk Odinsdottir now running, racing up here for the finish. Gets her on the finishing mat. And in the picture you've got Katrin Tanya Dottir. Now Katrin was your, was your overall points leader entering this event. And she, you can see that she is fighting off an urge to clamp that lat rope with her legs. And Katrine now just entering her round of eight. If you're Samantha Briggs, you don't wish ill for any other competitor, but you're probably smiling on the inside. Well, I'm not, I'm not sure that Sammy is. I mean, she's happy with her placement, but at the same time, I hope that she's wishing the best for everybody else. I can't imagine anything else from Sam. Sam is a fierce competitor, but we know that she cares for every single person out there on the field. And as I said, now wrapping up his her workout, as is Emily Emily Smeeding. Smeeding. Martina Barbaro across the line as well. And it's Katrine. Very lonely right now on those rope climbs for the overall points leader. And you see Björk Udinsdott here in the middle of your screen walking back to back to help out and show some support for some of these athletes still in the race. Trying to share a little bit of advice here with Katrin Tanya Dovis Doftir. Cheering on the crowd. Martina Barbaro makes a sprint for goal. Martina Barbaro forgets she, her chess piece. Time won't stop until she gets that across the line. And again, excitement to get the better of you. So not just an event record, but an annihilation of the previous record by Samantha Briggs. And when we get the official scores, quite possibly two other women in the European region. And David's daughter is having a complete meltdown in lane number seven. So confirmation that all three of the top times turned in at this region in this heat beat the previous world record that was set in Australia earlier today. Now the crowd and the competitors trying to carry David's daughter through this workout as she has two more rounds to go after this one.
And you see her trying to collect her thoughts, and that's exactly what she needs. She needs support from her, her fellow athletes at Lee, definitely, but she needs to get behind the fact that she can get this done. She needs to believe it when she's on that rope, and that's the whole decider right now. It's great to have people around you whom you trust, whom you work out with, to build that kind of confidence. Davis Daughter had a five-point lead in the overall standings entering this event. Now Sam putting her on the clock. This is an 11-minute workout. We're just passing nine, and Davis Daughter cannot afford to have an event this bad. It's thundering inside this arena as Davis Daughter approaches the top of the rope and fights for that final rep. Oh, she is burning energy right there. Unable oh. to get it, and we are in round eight of 10. And that's exactly what happens. You will work your way up the rope just like she just did, but once you need to release that one hand and you don't have enough power in the other to hold you onto the rope, your body just won't let you do it. Sam Briggs refusing to let David's daughter quit. David's daughter's face betraying some emotions that she does not want to be on this ride anymore. And I gotta tell you, that's when you just need to, as an athlete, you need to start wrapping, wrapping your head around the fact that you, it is there. The smallest a bit of doubt, and you won't be able to make it. Now, Sam's sharing a bit of advice. Pull the rope close to your chest. Make sure that there's as little distance as possible, and then lock it up. But Katrina needs to get on that rope, and she needs to get there fast. She got up there fairly effortlessly. The crowd again coming alive in the Baller Up Super Arena here in Copenhagen, showing off what the CrossFit community is all about, as well as the athletes who are now coaching David's daughter trying to help her recoup any losses as she is going to meet the time cap, but hopefully can get this eighth rope climb. And it's important. And up she goes. And it's important for her as well just to get this one in the bank so she doesn't come off of this feeling like she didn't succeed. She clamps the rope, comes down. They were her a no-go again, and she is devastated. With five minutes, five seconds will tick away, and we'll meet the time cap here. A clearly shaken David's daughter. Words of encouragement there from two champions. And David's daughter's gonna have to uh, get her head in the right place going into the third and final day. She is mentally very, very tough, and I think she will do that. But right now, it probably feels like her world's coming apart.